Yeah, hey, Emily. So O'Hare, as you see behind me, it's getting kind of busy. It's not swamped, not quite yet, but AAA does expect 7.2 million Americans are going to travel this holiday season. It's pretty cold outside, but all eyes are not on the cold weather right now. It is on that snowstorm that Emily keeps telling us about. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a doozy from what we hear, and travelers here are pretty happy that they're in the airport today. Now, a travel expert says if you're flying later this week, don't worry about canceled flights just yet. It might be a day or two too early for those types of announcements. But travelers we spoke to say they are just happy to have avoided that snowy mess Thursday and Friday. It definitely was like a consideration, but I think like, especially with a trip like this, it's tough to change anything at the last minute. So we kind of were just going for it. Yeah, fingers crossed. I heard rumors about it. I live in Wisconsin, so we're kind of always just expecting bad weather. Um, but I won't be here, so who really cares? <laughs> We care. That's who really cares, right? I think there's going to be a lot of finger crossing, toe crossing later this week. But airlines have actually started announcing uh, some changes, not canceling to flights, but they've started giving some options to travelers. United, American Airlines, and Southwest all saying that that change fee is now waived for those in the Midwest, those traveling to and from uh, Midwestern airports. So there's no change fee for flights from Wednesday through Friday. So if you want to go ahead and change your flight, you can. But again, none of those airlines have yet uh, canceled canceled any flights for this coming snowstorm. Live at O'Hare, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Thank you, Elizabeth.